Hi, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the HER2 status. What is it? What does it mean for your treatment options? How do we test for it? And how you should interpret the result when it comes back. HER2 stands for Human Epidermal Growth Factor Receptor. This refers to a protein in or on the cancer cells. This has nothing to do with your body. It relates to the tumor. HER2 positive cells are cells that have extra amounts of this protein. For some people, we look at the gene within the tumor cell to see if the gene is overexpressed or overamplified. Either way, if the gene is overamplified or there are excess amounts of the HER2 protein on the tumor cells, the tumor will be called HER2 positive. HER2 positive breast cancer tends to be more active. Left untreated, the prognosis is worse than if the tumor is not HER2 positive. However, with treatment, we have very effective ways of treating HER2 positive breast cancer. How do we find out if your tumor is HER2 positive? Well, when you have your biopsy, a core needle biopsy, the tumor will be sent, that biopsy specimen will be sent to the pathologist. They do special tests on the tumor. They look for extra amounts of that protein. And if that's borderline, if they're not sure, they will also look for overamplification of the gene, extra copies of the gene. So the HER2 report is part of the pathology report. This often takes longer than just the biopsy itself, the biopsy that says if you have cancer or not, and what kind of cancer. So you might often hear that the HER2 status is pending. You might see that in your report, or yet to come back. Sometimes people have a different result on their final tumor surgery than they do on the core biopsy. In that case, we may do extra tests to be absolutely sure. If there's a question about it, we tend to treat breast cancer as if it's HER2 positive because we don't want to not give you a treatment that would help you. But we like to make pretty sure that it's HER2 positive before we embark upon your treatment plan. About one in five, one in five, or 20% of breast cancers are HER2 positive. HER2-positive tumors respond to targeted therapy, treatments that are targeted against that HER2 protein. And that's why I say with treatment, we can manage and treat and cure HER2-positive breast cancer. We have very effective therapies. So what are targeted therapies? Targeted therapies are given by vein, in general, for up to a year. So this is a big commitment on your part and that of your medical team. Targeted therapies for most HER2-positive tumors are given intravenously. If you're going to get targeted therapy, I would recommend that you consider a semi-permanent IV called a port. That will go through a little incision on the chest, and the IV will go into a big vein, and it just makes it easier for you. Treatments are given every one week sometimes to start, or more commonly every three weeks and you're gonna be coming in and getting an IV every three weeks for a year. So most of my patients who've gotten targeted therapies have chosen to get a port. I have had a couple of people who haven't. Targeted therapies generally started along with chemotherapy. So if the tumor you have or had was HER2 positive, you'll get chemotherapy along with targeted therapy some chemotherapy we don't give with targeted therapy, in particular medicines called the anthracyclines, doxorubicin, donorubicin, and epirubicin, we'll give separately from targeted therapy. But in general, chemo is given with targeted therapy. When the chemo is all done, the targeted therapy continues. That's in the case of stages one, two, and three breast cancer. In the case of metastatic or advanced breast cancer or stage four breast cancer that is HER2 positive, you'll generally be on some form of targeted therapy long-term. And in that case, we also have some targeted therapy given by mouth. In people who have advanced metastatic stage four breast cancer, 
we can give targeted therapies that are to people with HER2 positive disease along with hormonal therapy. It doesn't always have to be chemotherapy. So there are a lot of options. If you want to learn more about HER2 status and hormone receptor status, visit yerba.com and get your yerba report to know the status of your tumor and also your treatment options. If you like this video, click like, and if you haven't, subscribe.